is, is today as well off in terms of the support from the government of Nova Scotia, that the credit and so on that's available is as good as it was before and therefore what we're going to do right now is sit down with the industry, we're having a meeting just in the next few minutes, so that we can work out why there is confusion. And again, if there was confusion on our part from the press release, we'll certainly be addressing that. But the important thing is that really the end, the end of the day, we're at a place that is, is good for the animation industry. We we'll want to make sure that they also understand it the same way. So we're going to go and work out why there is confusion. Could you explain That's, yeah. to us how this actually works? Well, I think the best way to explain it is to have a written example of how it works. That's exactly what I asked for because you need to work through the numbers and it's not something that, that lends itself to a sound bite here. Right. But I don't I want a sound bite. I want an actual explanation of how this thing works. You guys have put out two different they things not give you plus a news release and none of it mm -hmm. none of it matches. The twenty five percent the twenty five percent that's the bonus amount above what digital animation or di sorry, digital media tax credit is is for animators only, so this, the actual workers, the people who are working in, in animation, doesn't cover their producers and, and others in the industry. Uh, that amount is applied to the 50% of eligible so labor. 25 of 50 is, is 12. 12 and a half. That's, is that right? Um, again, I, I think we have to get the numbers and put it down, but it's not on 100% of eligible well, labor. Why was done yesterday? You put out a, a well, thing yesterday that told us how it worked, well, and I, now we've all put out mm, false information. I don't think you've put out false information. If you put out that the industry today is as well off as they were under yes. the old credit, then you're not having false information. Uh, but let, let us work out the differences. Perhaps we can come back to you Minister, later this you afternoon. Guys, Minister, your department, Do you know put out, Minister, yeah. your department put out the release yesterday, the day after negotiations were finalized. You and your department and your government brought this to our attention. It's not like we went no. and dug this up on our own. Mm -hmm. We wrote our stories and did a reporting based on the information your department prepared and gave to us. Well, I appreciate and, that. And there were inaccuracies. I'm not certain that there are there. inaccuracies. I want to sit down and look at it and we'll, we'll talk to the industry. I think that the numbers are difficult to understand, the 25% of 50% of this and that. So I think the best way to understand it is a written example, and that's what we're going to provide to the opposition, and that's what, if you would like, we'll provide to Minister, all of you. And we, then let's we've have got, that we've discussion We've got incorrect next. information in, our, in today's edition, well, let and me, I'm going to have something in tomorrow's edition about this. Could we try to get the Let me determine today? if yours is incorrect, because I'm not certain. So let me have the meeting with my staff, and we'll return and have another chat. Does it, I, I'm not certain it is incorrect, so I think you may be jumping the gun there. I think we need to sort it out with the industry, and we'll get the answer, and we'll be back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.